What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Squiggy's Rom Hack Romp. Today, we are playing Mario's Adventure by Mushroom 378. <laughs> All right, we're going to go on to Extra House and see exactly what's going on there. I don't know what the fuck was up with that intro. I'm just feeling weird today. We have... Now, I incorrectly thought this was Splatterhouse music last time, but I'm pretty sure it's like Friday the 13th music or Halloween or one of those famous horror movies, um, which I'm sorry for anyone out there that was like, shut up, Squigs, you have no, you never have any idea what you're talking about, uh, as I can only assume most people say most of the time when watching the show. Let me see if I can get up here. Uh, I think I could fly up over that if I tried hard enough. Let's see what we can do here. If I got up onto that, and then we flew up. Oh, I'm so close. Okay, we're gonna try to do this, and we're gonna try to break this level for no other reason than to break it. All I need to do is land on that right there. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try this a few times, and we'll come back when I nail it. There we go. We are up and over, and we've broken something. We can peace switch our way back, which does me what good. I. Don't understand what just happened there. But um, we'll just go through this door and see what happens. We're going to beat this level the real way, eventually. But I just wanted to break it while I could. <laughs> um, unless that was intentional. Go to the door and kill the big boo. No, I think that was our final checkpoint kind of thing. Get that, grab that, and now we kill ourselves a big a boo. Oh, we got a similar to the original big boo room, except a little more dangerous by not having that bottom floor there. Actually does ramp it up quite a bit. Um, but the original boo isn't that hard, so this one shouldn't be either. It took me probably longer to fucking cheese out the level than it did to just beat it the normal way. Woo! Yeah! Ba ba ba! Yeah! Sonic win! <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna go back and beat it the real way. We actually need to find the secret exit anyways. So, I love this fucking song, by the way. Very cool. Let's see if we can just fall right here. We gotta keep our eyes peeled for anything that might be a secret exit. Left or right, which way is it gonna be? Do we wanna th- Cool idea. Pretty sure we have to build ourselves like a key bridge. Now keys are one of the objects that never despawn. So you can use them off screen like this. Well, that sucks. Hopefully we don't need that one. Assuming we need to bring at least one of these keys over there with us. What the hell am I supposed to do with these keys? There's nothing here for them. Well, I've wasted everything that's valuable to me and hmm, we're going to we're going to get some power ups and try that again. Key. Dead. <laughs> okay, I was supposed to bring the keys with me the other way, it appears. There we go, we've double grabbed a key. So now we've got two. We can grab just one of them off here. Kick it. Bring this one with us. Meaning we get a P switch. Which does... Um... Where is this? Probably down there somewhere. I don't think I managed to get out of there before getting hurt, so I'm gonna go get some more. I actually don't really know how to do this. Okay, so... Can we go back with this? Okay, so I think actually what we're supposed to do is bring this back in here and then we can use it to get over here without cheesing it out. Possibly. And this allows us to get... 
back or something? I don't know. But that neither of that get none of this gets us a secret exit, basically. So what the where the fuck did this P switch come from? That wasn't there before. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. We're gonna kick some shit this way. What? Do you see that turning into a P switch when I move it? That's a new one to me. Oh, I fucked that up pretty badly. Oh my god. Okay. We have to actually be careful on this now. Let's see if we can check out over here. Nothing. There's nothing over here either. So maybe there's no Star World in this one. That might just be it. There just might not be a Star World. Um, which isn't... It's just a valid thing to leave out because it connects the whole map. I'm going to go ahead and say that even though other things were added in, Star World probably wasn't. Uh, we'll just go to the Ice Caverns and see how that works. If I miss something, Mushroom 378, please let me know down in the comments because uh, I'm probably not coming back for it otherwise. Um, let's see. Awesome fucking music again. No surprise there that the music is amazing. Oh my god, shot through the heart. And you're to blame. You give Mario a bad name. <laughs> Alright. Oh, well there's our P-switch to get that. I want the extra power up. Thank you. Didn't actually get the extra, but I'll take the fireballs either way. Alright, we're gonna slip and slide and definitely gonna see what's in here. What do we got? A coin. Hey, we got all five dragon coins. Did we? Okay. And we've made it. Alright, now this doesn't have a secret exit, so we don't have to worry about anything we may have missed. We can just scuttle along. And we're back to where we started here. The Sky Plains. <laughs> Off to the Sky Plains. I'm surprised that's not a feather, considering it's the Sky Plains. Um, but that's fine. Oh, we got some more brown eating block. What if we do something like this? That actually gives me a pretty cool idea for a brown eating block level where you try not to trigger them. I've never actually made a brown eating block. Uh, eating, yeah. And I don't actually know if the brown eating block is the way to describe that, but you know what I mean. The brown eating block, I've never made a level that is based around that, really. So, I've got to come up with something. I usually make a level for most things. There's nothing there. Um, yeah, I like to build thematic levels. Um, similar to like when you were, oh, the, the key level you saw previously. Why do none of these have anything in them? They're weird, like, they're not even like the coin blocks, they're just nothing blocks. Uh, which is a thing you can add in Mario, but it's not really used very often. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, like that key bridge thing. That's similar to the type of levels that I like to make for Mario, where they're, they're themed around, like, weird mechanics and things like that. So, a brown eating block level's right up my, my alley, but I haven't made one yet. Time will tell how it will be. Way to the castle! Let's make our way to the castle. The gray blocks are deadly. You got it. Which one of these has something in it? I know it's one of them. It's this one. <laughs> Historically, we would say that the, the coins are uh, a trap. But not this time. Aha! They were setting me up for failure. Now... Uh, we got, it looks like a Muncher Run level we have coming up. Which could be fun. Do, 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 do. Oh, just a little Muncher Run. Just a tiny, a taste of a Muncher Run, if you will. I'm not getting what's ever in that block. Probably doesn't matter because this one's a feather. And nothing really beats feather. Alright, get rid of you. Bada bing, bada bango. I've killed myself on fucking gray blocks <laughs> that I was warned thoroughly about so I have no one to blame but myself let's see you know what would be interesting if you could make the blocks go reverse 
and make those deadly, because they would be hard to notice at first. Um, well, when we get to another... I guess we're not going to get to another one. But if we get to another... If, if you notice the question mark blocks, they tend to spin around themselves um, almost like a top would. So if you made one spinning the opposite way, that could be interesting. Which you might be able to do with the vanilla the vanilla way that uh, you can edit tiles. Uh, so we have way to the castle number two. Are, aren't we in the castle? Did I, did I misread that? I don't know. Since we've been showing off so many glitches, I might as well show off this one too. Uh, shooting into these. It's been fixed. You fixed the... Oh no, it's there. If you shoot into escalators, the they appear way above you for no fucking reason. Uh, that's in the original game, and it <laughs> just shows how, how rushed this game was. Uh, but that's part of what makes it so fun, in my opinion. So, okay, we'll just let you dive. Um... Got a P-switch. Uh, I'll bring the P-switch, I guess. Oh my! Soundless bullet bill blasters. Coming out of a wall at me. These yellow things made it easier for the enemies to attack me. But I guess it makes it less easy for me to fall in a pit. I really probably should have used this already. Let's see if we can catch that. Boop! Alright. Yeah, there was nothing. I probably missed like another secret or a bunch of coins or something. I should not be doing that, but that's what I do every time. There we go. This is much easier with the cape. Huh? What do we got here? A couple hops. Ugh. Got myself in a sticky widget right there. Didn't know what to do. It's either burn myself in righteous fire or get hit by righteous fire. Mm. Oh. Not today. It feels like there's something down there, but probably not. Oh, this guy is really easy if you have fireballs. <laughs> That's how fucking easy he is. Just like the Chucks, the first two hits count as a full hit when you fireball him. Uh, if you don't know, like, it's three hits to jump on a chuck, five hits with fireballs to kill a chuck, but they count as one, two, and the next three all count as that third hit. So you can fire the two and jump on him for a quick kill. You can do the same thing with this boss, except it's like one, two, thirty to kill him with just fireballs. You can't just hit him with five. Uh, but, uh, congratulations! Mario quickly defeated Morton Koopa of the second castle. Now Mario explores the big undergrounds. Ooh, our full-fledged hack continues. Um... Let's just take a look and make sure it's not the end of demo or anything like that. And after that, oh, the little island built itself. After that, we'll probably call it an episode. Dude, this is marble fucking madness music. My favorite, favorite soundtrack for any game. This is the first level, the beginner stage. Not even my favorite sound, my favorite song in the game. But holy crap, do I love the soundtrack for Marble Madness. Everyone, go listen to Intermediate right now. Intermediate Marble Madness. Uh, I'll put it in the outro. Yeah, I'll put it in the outro so you can hear. The guy that wrote Marble Madness is a fucking genius. It's the best composed, composed music I've ever heard on a uh, video game console. It's so fucking weird and out there. Um, anyways, I'll start ranting about that. Thank you for including this in the game. Like I said, this whole thing's been a nostalgia trip, which is very nice. Either, like, groovy tunes that I've never heard or completely nostalgic, awesome tunes from my childhood. So, uh, yeah. It's not lost on me. Very appreciated. Uh, anyways, I'll stop rambling. Thank you all for joining me, friends. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Squiggy's Rom Hack Romp. We're going to be back soon with another one, so hopefully I will see you all there. And until then, enjoy another lovely afternoon wherever you are in the world. Thanks for joining me, friends. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Take it easy.